Our tagline is for the unusual. We carry all kinds of unusual stuff. My grandfather that started the business, um, he started it in 1920. Um, we started out as a photography studio. Um, and during that time, when people were waiting in the waiting room, um, he wanted to have a few little gadgets and gimmicks there in the waiting room. My father actually um, had been hit by a car, and they um, had their insurance money back then. You got the check, and they paid their bills, and they had $25 in, in insurance money left over. So they took that $25, and they bought some tricks and jokes and put them in the waiting room of the photography studio. And pretty soon, people were coming to us way more for the tricks and jokes. And so we closed the photography studio and just started doing the novelty portion of the business. The business changes from season to season. Um, so we try to have different things for different holidays. We're here for school plays, um, for church events, what people need costumes for. And we also carry tricks and jokes. We have magic. Um, we have a professional makeup artist on staff who does stage makeup. I am the resident makeup artist here at Caulfields. Um, I've been here a little over a year now. They brought me on right before Halloween last year and um, I kind of helped with a lot of different aspects when it came to all the different kinds of makeup that walks through the door because you never know what's going to come through. Everybody's looking for something different. Definitely we in Louisville we are known mostly for Halloween. Every year, the classic characters at Halloween time are always our most popular. So, you know, you're, you're Freddy, you're Jason, um, and you can even go back as far as Frankenstein and vampires. You know, your classic characters will always be popular for Halloween. Every year, you always have your fads that are popular. Duck Dynasty, for instance, is one. I get a lot of vampires, lots of Frankensteins. Um, zombies, of course. Years ago, it was like everybody was Freddy Krueger. It's not that way as much anymore. People really want to be something different. Um, they want to do their own thing and be creative with it. So we try to carry every accessory or makeup item. We carry shoes. Um, so we're not just your costumes here. We try to carry the extras that you might not find anywhere else. You might notice that we have a 1946 Cadillac hearse in front of the store quite often. Um, that is the Caulfields hearse and it's gotten kind of famous around town, especially during Halloween time, but we have it all the time here. Um, it is a 1946 hearse that has been restored somewhat, but most of it is re original. The curtains inside, all of that is actually the original hearse. So. We ship in a couple of different ways. Um, we ship as a distributor to small mom and pop costume shops all over the country. So we are a distributor to the smaller shops that can't buy from the big vendors. Um, so we distribute to the small costume shops. We have a website where we sell retail to customers all over the world. And then we also um, sell a little bit on Amazon. Our second busiest time of the year is actually Kentucky Derby. Um, we have our own line of plates, napkins, party favors, as well as all the licensed Kentucky Derby product, um, and we ship that all over the world. I know when I first walked in here, before I even worked here, my first, my first thought was, holy crap, every city should have one of these, because it's just amazing. You walk in and no matter what you want, Caulfields pretty much has something that you're looking for. I love buying costumes, I love purchasing the wigs. Um, it is really difficult because we do our purchasing every year for the theatrical season in January and so you never know what's going to be popular come Halloween time, but um, I, love, I love all of the theatrical aspect of it and we love working with um, actors groups and that type of thing, so um, I guess the theatrical side is definitely my favorite part. It is a huge difference in what we were 20 years ago and what we are today, which again, I think is a part of the reason that we are still here. Um, you know, so many times I talk to customers because we do sell to other costume shops across the country, 
um, and they say, you know, we just aren't making it, and but they don't change. They don't go with the, the trends and the, the new things that come along, and you have to do that in order to stay in business. We're just a fun destination to come to, so um, a lot of times people will just bring their family generation after generation, just like we're on our third generation. We always get people coming in and saying, my parents brought me here and now I'm bringing my kids here, um, just because it's a fun place to come.